Hello, my name is Matt Van Noy, and and welcome to my review of Boruto Naruto the movie. Plus, this review will also have spoilers. Things first. This movie is a lot of fun. I even got a poster while I was there. Yeah, I didn't even know this until my brother actually handed it to me like when we were at the stand when we were, like, printing out our tickets because we um. Because like we ordered our tickets online first and then we got to, to register or whatever and they printed, they printed it out there for us So yeah, yeah And also my brother did it like he got like he didn't we were gonna get him a poster but at the end of the movie But they were all out. He had one small poster or whatever If you didn't get a poster it, This has like it just is a po regular poster and then it has the Some, some scene from the movie so the movie is a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun going there and leaving the movie as well. So the movie opens up with Sasuke fighting this guy where I can um, whip out weapons from his back. This guy that can generate weapons from his back. And Sasuke's handling it pretty well because, you know, it's Sasuke for one reason. And this battle is pretty epic as well. Until this one guy shows up and starts fighting Sasuke. And his guy, this guy's name is um, Momoshika and he can absorb any... Ninjutsu techniques so with, with, with a running gun in his hand and absorb it from his left right hand and release it from his left hand to back at them. So Sasuke's managed to get out of there in the nick of time with his teleportation jutsu with the with the running gun. So when we see the first see team Boruto or like, probably no when we first see um team Konohamaru with they're they're just tracking down this bear that was like. They got out of the zoo, and um, and, and it also looks like a panda, which Boruto is confused, and he thinks it's a panda, and everyone else, all of his, Sada and Mitsuki says it's a bear. Boruto says he got this with the multi-child clone jutsu, but, with the try and capture the bear, but he does it, and then Konohamaru does this, pulls out this little scroll, and then does a, the shadow sewing technique with, from the Nara clan, and, ca and captures the bear, with that technique, and then um, Sadan and Mixi wonder like, how do you do that? How did you do a Nara technique? So he explains that this thing called Coat, that it's a new ninja technique, and you have it under your sleeve, and you can have like Jutsu put it into the scroll, minimize it, and put it in the coat, and then you can anybody and anybody can use it without using chakra. He demonstrates it by using the Rasengan, putting the Rasengan in. The scroll which he can do while a shot clone like like the fourth Hokage now puts in the scroll and minimizes it puts it in the, the coat and then shoots it out into the forest and makes an explosion which he should have done that with the Rasengan because the Rasengan is very powerful he should have just done it with some fire technique or no harmless no wait he's fire but I don't know anything else Right. Probably a harmless wind technique, probably. You should, should have done it. Stupid Kon. Baka! Kon Hamaru. And also, Kon Hamaru wants to put his his uh, his team, Boto, Sadan, and Mishiki in the shooting stand, but. But Boto probably doesn't like. doesn't want to do it. He thinks that Naruto will not show up. His father will not show up for him. Boto is. In this movie, he doesn't think his father will show up for anything, because, um. Since Naruto was always busy doing like interviews for Good Morning America, it's a joke. It's probably something else because you've seen the movie that he's on the news or whatever. I just call it Good Morning America. That's the one that I watch all the time. It could be called Good Morning Konoha, whatever. I don't care. He's also making child clones, going out to the village, helping out people. And Naruto has a lot on his plate being the Hokage. It's like almost being the president. The president probably, I don't know if the president has. Well, he has time to go golfing all the time for some reason, but I don't know. Before pre older presidents probably had a lot on their plate, like well during like World War Two probably or something like that. But I don't know. And this is why Boruto hates Naruto for doing all this stuff, having no time for his family. He Boruto also thinks that you might not show up for Himurata's birthday today. He actually does, but it's not Naruto. It was a, a clone. I wonder if Naruto was the action to go, and he got confused on who's the clone and who's real. Wait, that's my joke for it. Laugh! So Sasuke's back in town, and the first one that greeted him was Boruto, because fist through face, but Sasuke blocks it. 
The reason why he's there is he's looking for Naruto, and this is actually the first time we see Sasuke and he he not to have like a conversation. Like, yeah, it's not that much of a conversation, but like it's mostly like, where's Naruto? Oh, he's at the Mikage's mansion. Pretty interesting because we actually never saw these two actually have a conversation at all. But there's that one thing, it was from a movie, but it's not canon. This is like something that's in the Naruto canon. I just find this very interesting. He shows up in the whole Kage mansion to tell Naruto that he, when he was at Kageya's castle, like he found this scroll that he found and he can't decipher it with even with the reading on his, with his eye. Um, like Naruto says, leave it here or whatever, and he'll try and figure out whatever. And when he's leaving, he gets attacked by Boruto, but... Sasuke can't handle anything that a low class ninja can probably do. So, and, and then after when Boruto gets defeated by Sasuke, um, he asks him to take him on as his master. And this kind of reminds me of Naruto and Jiraiya a little bit, but it's a little different, but it kind of reminds me a little bit. So, and Sasuke asks, Do you know the Rasengan? And he says, No. Come back to me when you learn the Rasengan. So Boruto goes, he gets frustrated and he goes over to Komohamaru's house because he's not learning the Rasengan from his father, he's learning it from his sensei. And Komohamaru thinks it's like he's preparing for the tuning down to whatever. This is also reminds me of the time Jiraiya taught Naruto the Rasengan. He goes through all three steps, the, the water balloon, the ball, the air balloon, all that. Felt very nostalgic. So he mastered it, but it's small. He shows this to Sasuke, and Sasuke says, no, it should be bigger. And, like, so Boruto throws it up by being upset, and, like, he runs away, but Sasuke noticed something, that there's, like, a, there's damage in the tree. So next, Boruto goes to the guy that created the, the coat that does the, the jutsu in the little scroll. He says that if you use this, you can do any jutsu you want, even Rasengan. So... He goes over to Sasuke to show him that he can do the Rasengan too. He shows him it, but Sasuke knows that he has something under his sleeve, but he still takes him on as a student. And because he knows that he has potential because of that, he saw damage from that tree from earlier. So he teaches a little bit um, about like kunai tricks, but shows him all how to like do the a cur a curved kunai trick. That's why he's teaching him. Um, He's also Boruto asking if is there an easy way out to do this and like because Boruto's failing at it because he can't hit the target correctly it go you go straight or it does curve but it doesn't go in the right direction but Sasuke teaches him how like if you use two like throw one and then throw a second one and like, first one will go and the second one will, like hit that one and they will bounce off each other and then go to opposite directions Sasuke says he he should go to the exams to prove your ninja skills. Oh, Boruto actually ends up going to the tuning exams and he gets a, he gets an email from Naruto um, saying good luck and uh, there's a little joke that he the clone sent this. Now for me, um, I like that moment because like even though like, Naruto has like, I think a lot of people, some people don't like that he's sending emails that he can't or they don't understand why. I can understand like, you know Naruto has all this time, he still has a couple moments to like just try to send something at least that's something i wouldn't take that as a negative i, I would actually accept that like hey he gave some time to me like, even though it's just by email i like that moment in the first round it was like the first round like you there's a ground and then it's like the ground like pops open and it reveals that like, it's like a mud pit so, Boruto actually barely survives this because of, thanks to his teammates, Sadan and Michi, have, like, Sadan, like, a rope with kunai on it, like, through his jacket to actually get a grip and Michi can, like, stretch. I, I wouldn't say that he's luffy son. I wouldn't... I would say he has more of a elastic ability, like a plastic man. And during the second round, it's like, it's like a capture the flag type, type thing. Um, Boruto's guarding the flag and hit... Sadan and Michi are going off finding other, other teammates' flags. During when Boto is guarding the flag, um, this Miss Ninja shows up and starts fighting Boto with. Boto does Kagishin, the Moto Shalagon Jutsu, and this, min, this Miss Ninja does the same thing. I think there's. I don't know. Are there. Do you all, all three of those Miss. There's three Miss Ninjas, but they all look alike. I thought. 
there are already clones and he does clones of clones. A little confusing for me at, at the moment. So he's having difficulties with this, this miss guy. Um, and this is when he uses the, the coat. So he uses, I don't know why he uses water on a mist ninja when mist ninjas can use water. And then this is when we see, it's not Chidori, it's just a lightning technique. Because he uses water and then uses a lightning technique, which everyone else thought probably it was Shidori, but it wasn't the trailer fooled us, because they had that Shidori sound with the, the chirping of the thousand birds, but it's just a regular lightning technique. And he's basically kind of cheating through the, the way of the exams. When Boto's at home in, in his room, and like he's very excited that he passed, and like, Naruto go, goes up to greet him, and he, the way Naruto looks, he looks pretty, pretty uncomfortable talking to his son. Even though he probably had talking to his son, even when he was a little kid, but that was when he was a little kid. This is when he's a teenager, and he, I don't think it's a clone probably at this, at this moment. It's probably the real Naruto. He wants to congratulate his son by, like, by doing a fist bump, and like, I don't know why he doesn't do it, because like, he, ha he has the coat, and he probably doesn't want to show that he has the coat. But I don't know why he couldn't have done it with his left hand, not his right hand. I would have done it with my left hand if I were him hide the coat from Naruto because Naruto doesn't like the coat because some ninjas already are used to doing the jutsu by, by hand not by the scrolls from the coat so yeah he doesn't, he doesn't like it that much during the third round it's the fighting the fighting portion of the round so Boruto is doing well and his teammates are doing well well Boruto is using the coat to cheat like during his first match was trying to throw the um was trying to it was against this one Cloud Ninja that can like, do bubble gum but, like, explosions, and then he was gonna do the technique that Sasuke showed him earlier with the, sh with the shitigans, but he ends up doing it with the coat instead. So and it ends up exploding the guy's bubble gum that he has that can explode around, like because he, he had like, one of those bubble gums already by him, and he just does that trick and it explodes, throws the shitigan and it explodes. Yeah, Balto likes doing the easy way out of his stuff. He doesn't like doing things like how normal should know me should. He just likes the easy way out, basically. So when he's up against to Shigadai, which it's Shigamaro's kid, um, he gets captured from like I think it's a new technique that the Nara have. Like it's I never seen it. It's like when the sh sh it makes a big old circle from Shadow and it can capture them like that. Which that seems new to me. I thought it was the regular kind. I, it looks new to me. And then this is when. Boruto uses the coat and releases multiple scrolls, and the scrolls contain shadow clones. And then Shigadai is like, I give up. Like, that's how Shigamaro would be an asshole. So Naruto notices this thing, he tells Hinata, look, use your Bakugan, look, look, look under his arm. And then he says, like, he goes up to Boruto, and Boruto's like, excited to get his father's and like, probably approve of him, and then excited for him. And then it turns out he's not, he sees the coat. You're basically cheating with this with this ninja tool. That's not right. Oh, Shiki ends up crashing the party, and want he wants the all the tail beats, and like he already defeated B, ends up crash destroying the place, and he's also this guy also wants the the tail beast. He's also continuing Kaguya's plan to like the fruit of life. Whatever. So Naruto is fighting with Shiki, and it looks like he sacrifices himself, but it's not. He actually got kidnapped. But we don't, but no one else knows that yet, but, and, uh, except for Sasuke, um, so, like, at the time that the, everyone else thought Naruto was dead, Boruto was upset that he had an argument before his father eventually died, but we all know it's not until Sasuke comes up to him and uh, persuade, uh, talk some sense into him, saying, like, why bother somebody like me? But uh, Sasuke replies, because you're a strong shinobi and my student. And you're able to surpass your father, and plus you're the you're a bigger loser than Naruto. You hate to lose as well. And he also tells that Naruto's still alive. He's in another dimension. We have to go save him. And this is where it gets to the fun parts of the movie, which is my favorite part. Which is so yeah, they go to the dimension, like rescue Naruto, and, and Sasuke says only use. Taijutsu, don't use ninjutsu against these guys because they can absorb it. So which, it, it's awesome to see all of like, Kage's face. Momosuke and his and her partner got well, And that leads into like, how Momosuke um, absorbs his partner and comes like 
Red Hulk or whatever. He looked in form of that. And that leads Naruto and Sasuke to go full power. And Naruto goes into Bujin mode. Sasuke puts on Renegon, my Goku Shigon, and this is the best opening ever. Why do I say this is the best opening ever? Because this is what you see in the opening neck. Like. You know how you see in the, when you see in the opening and it's net and you, you say, I can't wait to be like that in the show and it never is like that in the show. It's slower down a little bit. Like always the openings are like always super amazing perfectly. Like, it's the best animation sometimes. This too is the best animation too. Yeah, so this is what you see in the opening. You never see in the sh exact show. This is, what, this is what my brother said on, her, on the way home. So, yeah, that that fight with, I guess, like, when like, Momosuke makes himself big and, uh, and Naruto summons um, Kuruma and Sasuke does Shushino around Kuruma. Boom! And slices that Momosuke, whatever, beasting. Like, and Naruto and Sasuke attacking was pretty epic. So yeah, it's the best opening ever. So and also Balto gets to show off his Ross win Rasengan, like well Sasuke says do the Rasengan like and like he does it and then oh, Naruto sees it too, um so he throws it and the the impact on Momosuke like Oh this is during when Momosuke like re re gets regenerated because of that one guy that that creates coat goes to also goes with them when when, when no one's looking oh you know, these guys sneak in and do some stupid shit because like so how um, Momosuke can absorb chakra energy whatever and baka these they shouldn't have gone to try and help naruto they had this handled but when rasengan whatever like that van that vanishing rasengan that so, let me explain the vanishing rasengan like how it works um so it's a it, so since Rasengan is wind element, that when he throws it, it's it's still there. It just becomes the wind, and the impact will actually happen. Like, like something like the, um, like that. It's like if I if I do that that vanishing Rasengan and throws it, it will hit anywhere, make a boom, whatever, or damage so, something. That's how the that Rasengan works. The vanishing Rasengan. It becomes wind comes nature itself. This is what also one of my favorite moments. I, I think it's like one of my favorite touching moments. It's when um father and son Rasengan when Boruto does another Rasengan and Naruto gives him some chakra of Rasengan makes it big and it goes it flashes back from like when Naruto first was learning the Rasengan it goes when he first used the Rasengan Kauto it goes to it's almost all those most important parts how when he first fought Sasuke when he learned uh Sage saw Rasengan, every Rasengan. So that was a very touching moment for me, um, yeah. So, during the end of the movie, um, seeing how, like, Saran, like, because you know how Saran wants to be Hokage, like, do you want to be Hokage? The earlier brother doesn't want to be Hokage, and this is why Saran asking now, do you want to be Hokage since you're cool with your father now? And he goes, like, no, I want to be, like, more like Sasuke. You can be Hokage. He says, like, we should be like more like our fathers, you and me. So this movie is a ten out of ten for me. I like I really had fun with this movie and watching it. And also there was end credits. It was um Michiki saying that his father is George Marlon. That's that's a little fun thing that happened. So yeah, I had fun with this movie. Whatever, whatever. I I've been mad in one. Please comment, like, and subscribe for more. Hold on, let's see. Rasengan!